he just rolls on out like he thinks he's all that hey, in a Sean, bag of chips. I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Man, what a mama's boy. What a greasy mama's boy at that. And why is he dirty? We have a reason. We smash a zombie with a freaking hammer and Thank he's God just dirty. Okay. Oh man, who's this? I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. <laughs> I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you're just talking about you horses there. while all this is going on. You've brought a couple guests. Damn straight. I, uh, uh, uh. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, was that like a compliment oh, or some sort of insult? He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. She does now. Okay, then. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. About time somebody did something about my stupid porch, leg. See what I have. Been walking around on it forever. Slow walking, limping everywhere. It gets kind of annoying after a while. What are you shaking Let's your head at Clementine for, huh? You got a problem yeah. with me? Better s swollen to hell. Damn, yeah, start swollen. I was at a car crash. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Nice to meet you, Herschel. I like your voice. How'd this happen? Well, car accident, obviously. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Where was I heading? Uh. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Yeah, because stupid with? cop, the girl. Uh, a police officer. I was officer. with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up. Too bad he's a stupid dumb who wasn't paying attention to the road and got us both in trouble. You and your daughter got himself killed and got my leg messed up. Here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Clem, Clem! <laughs> Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm not gonna steal Seamus' um, joke, don't worry. After until we, uh, find our parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone... Oh, she heard that. that. She heard that bad word. Your son's right. You, you don't should, want to Did you see Clem Clem's face? She's like, oh, man, he said shit. That's a naughty word. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm convinced. all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks, man. Thanks. Hopefully, I will Hopefully stop limping like a stoop. Doesn't go down. You're like a stupid dumb. An infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow. Which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. Oh, now he smiles as he shakes oh, his head. Right See where out honestly gets me? He gets me not having him shaking his head at Clementine. That's an improvement. It smells like... Well, little girl, you clearly don't want to hear swear words, so manure. Manure? manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I've never heard that expression before. I miss my mom and dad. Yeah, and I'm sure they're plopping all over the ground right now. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Clementine, you just go to sleep before I plop on you.
like that on him. It's music. <laughs> wow. That guy is like the world record for having a nightmare. I've never fallen asleep that fast and then woken up 30 seconds later from having a nightmare, ever. Hey, get up. Oh, jeez. Hello, Mr. Hick. Ugh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. Oh, <gasps> well, don't I say things like that. Daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad, man. Stop I'm saying I'm her dad. I no offense. There's a tractor and everything. I already hate him. You we think just because she's then, black and I'm black them. that I'm automatically her dad? That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. I'm a racist. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? Duck, you look Where like you got is, hit in the face with the ugly making? stick. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Well, I certainly knocked a couple of heads with a hammer, if you know what I'm saying. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, I've never uh, seen Mrs. What's the girl's name? spelled like that. Clementine. Clementine. Clem Clem. That is a very pretty name. And you are not Thanks. a very pretty person. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? That's well, fantastic, I need a good kid. Foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. You know what? He kind of reminds me of that bad kid from Toy Story. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. Stupid. We can visit. I don't want you visiting with her. I don't want your ugly face near her pretty face. I'm gonna taint her with your ugliness. Whatever. Cat jaw. Hey there, girls. Cat jaw. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. I don't even oh, see you two uh, talking to each other. How's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, you know? <laughs> wow. You learned Clementine is a first grader. Uh, what, what do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here. Fort Lauderdale. More Cat job. Cats and, uh, Very more interesting toys. names. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. It definitely can't. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. I certainly hope so. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. It's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I yeah, well, unfortunately, in the time of need, you are not a charity. It's like that one guy, whenever I have to catch the bus to work, he's always like, Hey, can you spare a dollar? And I straight up told him I'm not a fucking bank. I need money for myself, man. And you're clearly able to take care of yourself because you buy bus passes all the time. Why do you need a dollar? This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. And your face is disgusting. These past couple days, at least. Back in a bit. Jeez, you have such okay, a Lee. pig nose. Cat jaw. Have fun with your pig face, cat jaw. Who the hell names her daughter Katja? They probably weren't able to figure out what to name her after the ugly piece of crap fell out of her mother. And the dad's like, just Katja! And the doctor's like, okay, her name's Katja. So I guess that's some sort of expression. Hey, way to wave, buddy. Alright, you need any help? Working on that fence. Can I help him? Sean's still working on that fence. Clearly, Lee, I want to see if he needs help. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Well, I can certainly cut some wood if you know what I'm saying. 
Well, I'm a master cutting wood. You have no idea. I'm the wood cutting master. Watch me cut wood. How bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Right in the face. You gotta do what you can to survive. They put a gun to that kid's head and pulled the trigger? Fuck that, man. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You know what, Wolf, a little kid? Like that. It's was a like zombie a trying to eat my face. I think I blow like him between the fucking eyes. Did That's just me. Do, it? do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Sometimes, it's kill or be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Oh, hell, I don't know. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. Maybe not. Maybe it is. Maybe it's worse. That's we'll probably find all out. I need cut for now. Thanks. I'm glad I could help. It's cutting things in half. You can go ahead and have a good time on that tractor. I like how there's a hammer noise and he's just standing there. That was fantastic. I love that. I magically hammer noise with foam. You no, know, actually hammering. I'm pretty good at that, actually. It's like my, my number one ability. Right, let's talk to Kenny. Kenny and Katja. What a pair. Thanks, camera. Let's look at Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Good, because I don't you know shit about cars. Help? What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. You should just let that little kid get kidnapped, because he seems pretty dumb. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. You learned about Kenny's boat. This is obviously a very important plot device. Well, I have talked to everybody and their mother. Oh, Herschel's magically inside of the barn. Let's go see what the hell he wants. I didn't notice he was in there before. Maybe I had to activate him by talking to people. Point and click tactics. I don't think he likes me very much. How'd you get out of Atlanta? On foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife, girlfriend? I think you're asking a lot of personal questions. My parents are in Macon with my brother. 